Abandoned as an infant, never knowing my real mother and father, I was left deep in the woods in the care of an elven druidess. She raised me, cared for me like a real mother, but was also stern and perhaps unforgiving. Being a tiefling, she knew I would be victim to prejudice and spite, so as a young child she filed my horns in attempts to disguise my devilish features. When I was a little older, she sent me off to a school for girls. Here they cut our hair and taught us how to be young women. The children here could see that I was different and were unrelentlessly cruel. I knew not friendship or love. I was alone. I hated it here. I just wanted to go home. Finally, after years of torment, I plucked up the courage to run away. I found old clothes and escaped in the night. I knew not where I was going. I just knew I had to find my mother in the woods. But fate had other plans. A hooded traveller rode up on a horse and grabbed me, taking me far away. It wasn't until we arrived in a far-off glen within a castle ruins, he discovered that I was a young girl, not the young boy he thought he had taken. After much deliberation, he chose to keep me, explaining that his family, including his son and daughter, were mercilessly killed by rogues. He had no one, just like me. Over the years, the Traveller showed me kindness. He taught me how to be a fighter with a sword and a hunter with a bow. He taught me the ways of the land and how to survive. He was a father to me, and for that I loved him as a daughter. One day when I was older, he explained to me about the clan he led, Clan Smaragade, an ancient clan of warriors. After he told me everything, he handed me his emerald ring I am no longer the last remaining member. You, my daughter, are now a part of this clan. Take this ring and wear it with honor. I took it without hesitation. I finally felt the love and belonging I yearned for. Unfortunately, this wasn't to last. In the autumn of that same year, whilst I was out on a hunt, a band of rogues found my father and attacked. He fought valiantly but ultimately was outnumbered. I returned to find him, lying in a pool of his blood. I ran to his side and cried, pleading for his life. With his last breaths, the traveler that I now know as father told me he loved me as if I were his own flesh and blood. I love you, Colleen, my daughter. And with that, he slipped away, and I was alone once again. Fearing the rogue's return and bent on revenge, I packed up, taking my father's sword and my longbow, and set out on the road. I would find the man who took my father's life and make him pay. After a couple of years on the road alone, I stumble across a strange but endearing group of adventurers who invite me to work alongside them. And thus, here our story begins. My name is Colleen Dayman, the last surviving member of Clan Smaragade. I will get my revenge and find where I belong in this world. <laughs>